Meta Platforms stock. I want to make this quick video to discuss the stock and give my opinion. Uh, so I currently do not own Meta. I do not own shares directly in this company, but I might buy shares at some point in the future. It is quite expensive. When you look at the share price, you say, oh my God, right? $500 for one share of Meta. Uh, keep in mind, you can buy fractional shares uh, like through Robinhood and other brokerages. So um, you can buy $10 worth of Meta. You don't have to buy uh, an entire share. And I'm not saying you should buy it or not buy it, uh, but I am bullish on the stock. Uh, year to date, it has done really, really well. So here's the year to date chart. And here's the maximum chart. And I wanna focus on the long-term trend. I think it's really important to think long-term uh, when you're uh, investing. Uh, it, you, it gives you more time to be right. And look, over the long run, Meta has gone up. I remember the day Meta uh, went had its IPO. I was sitting uh, at my computer, just like I am now, uh, and I was trading and I, and I bought Meta. And uh, I remember people were saying it was a terrible company and it was $30 a share. Uh, and that was the actual price, by the way, because the Meta stock has not had any stock splits yet, which is something else uh, to keep in mind. In fact, that brings me up to a point. I'm going to show you something here. Uh, I'm going to type in uh, something here, Meta stock price. And we're going to look here at the price. And notice uh, the increase here. So it's increased 1,200%. So compare that to you know, another popular stock, for example, compare it to Tesla. Well, what is the increase for Tesla? So if I click max again, look at that, right? So I feel like Meta has a lot of room to run compared to the other big stocks. What do I mean by big stocks? Well, if you go to a website like Finviz and you go to Screener and you sort by market cap, it's an ad here, um, there's a premium version, by the way, of this website, and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out because this website is awesome. In any case, lots of good stuff for free. So go to market cap, boom. And then here you get the biggest companies in the world, Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, Amazon, Google, Meta, right? There's Meta. So it is one of the biggest companies in the world. Um, I am bullish on the stock, but I don't currently own it. I do own like, you know, ETFs and stuff and those own Meta. So obviously if Meta goes up, that's good uh, for everyone. It's good for the market, right? When these big stocks go up, um, large caps follow. Um, here you can get information on Meta. It does pay a dividend, it does pay a dividend. And so Meta owns a couple things, uh, to my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so they own uh, Facebook. They own Instagram, they own WhatsApp. Those are some of the most popular websites in the world, right? So uh, I think Meta is going to keep going up. I've seen it happen. Some people think that, oh, it's gone up too much. I've been investing for like 15 years. I've, I saw Amazon rise from the beginning. I saw Microsoft. I traded Microsoft at $27. And it's, you know, it's quite a bit today. So I've seen stocks go up over the years, um, and I've seen them go down too during the recession. So anything can happen. In any case, um, you know, make your own decisions and all that stuff. But I just wanted to give my opinion on the stock. That's what I think about Meta platforms. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. Yet the more I talk about it, the more I want to buy a share. But I don't know. I I might at some point uh, in the future. Good stuff. Take care.